what's the common denominator? Road games in conference play. Indiana, number one, lost in Minnesota. Duke tonight loses at Virginia. Michigan, very surprising at Penn State. Gonzaga here on the road in conference, being challenged big time. This is where you earn the number one ranking. And the malady in college basketball is real simple. As soon as you sniff number one, typically there's a two or three game losing streak. Gonzaga now taking BYU's best shot in front of what seems like the entire city of Provo. It is amazing in here. Harris comes up short on the free throw. Well, it's been a rough night for Elias Harris. He's got five points, just one of three at the free throw line. Makes one of two. Kafusi did foul out on that last personal, so he's out of the game. BYU has never led in this one. Well, Linick just took a shot to the face from Brandon Davies. Davies posting up against Olinick. Had the ball stripped away and stolen by Gonzaga. Surrounded by four black jerseys. They devoured the basketball. Bell. I think he was thinking about shooting that three. Instead, passed it up. Olenek finds Harris down low. Harris with the left hand. Olenek the guy to get into the gap and make the play. He showed some of those point guard skills. That's what he was before he grew seven inches as a junior in high school. Well, that was a big bucket for the moment. It has quieted down here in Provo. Another made basket, and it will explode again. Pause against Bell. Hawes backing his way in. The spin around. No good. Davies offensive rebound. And he sticks it in. Timeout Dave Rose. With the four fouls, Brandon Davies playing tough. It's back to a one-point game. Some point guard skills. It only takes a dribble into the gap. And Elias Harris gets the ball deep again. You cannot defend against him there. Watch Brandon Davies. Two words, senior night. Energy right there from Brandon Davies on senior night, the last night of his career at BYU at home. And man, is he playing big. He and BYU really challenging an excellent Gonzaga team. He's got a double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. And we'll ask the question, if they can survive this one, do they move to number one? There have been some number one teams out of the West Coast Conference. The last time it happened, though, 36 years ago, San Francisco with Bill Cartwright in that 1976-77 season. Gonzaga perhaps 249 away from moving to number one. And Big Bill Russell led the dynasty back in the 50s for San Francisco. One point game. Gonzaga ball. win a double team two guys pushing him out of the way Angos gets it to Harris who tried to spin move and lost it out of bounds turnover Gonzaga Harris goes with the spin he feels pressure on his top side so he spins and just loses the basketball well, once again, we'll point out BYU has never led. Both teams are really taking care of the ball in this game overall. Here's Hawes. That free throw line area trying to initiate the contact. The ball knocked right back to Hawes. Well, it is shot physical. clock for BYU. Cusick three. No good. Rebound. And that one's off of Gonzaga. It is survival of the yeah. fittest right now. And maybe too physical. This game has just gotten brutal inside. This feels like an NBA game in the playoffs with two minutes to go. I mean, there's no calls, and these guys are just playing. Knocked out of bounds. Harris bats the ball away. Davies just fighting with Mike Hart to try to get free down low. Rebounding edge to the Cougars. That has been... A major difference in this game. Particularly the offensive rebounds for BYU. Now Pangos guarding Hawes. No good. Almost went down. 
So still BYU has not led under two minutes to go. Pound it inside. You got a Linux in the high post. Angles from the corner, dribbled into an open look, no good. Zilstra rips it away. One twenty to play. Davies, Cusick open, air ball. Mike Hart is fouled. But Cusick, I think he was so wide open, he was surprised. And that means bonus time for the Zags. Watch the ball go down to Davies. He fights for position, can't keep his balance, and look how open Cusick is. And Jerry Olenek, the closest defender, the next defender is laying down on the floor. He's just wide open. So Cusick, not that time. It's the senior, Mike Hart. The poor free throw shooting night for the Zags. Front end of the one and one here. Big, big free throws. Missed it. Loose ball. Hart gets it. The number one ranking is never a gift. You must earn it in places like this. Under a minute to go. Bell. Oh, they, they just are not attacking the zone. Olenek the gets pass. into the lane, scores. They did there. Olenek, another super efficient night, 7 of 10 from the field, 19 points and a basket to put Gonzaga back up by three. Kelly Olenek has been surveying the soft spot of the zone right in this space in order to get free area, and Gary Bell Jr. sees him, and look at all the defenders, can't quite react to that soft shooting touch from the elbow. Olenek so good at probing that middle space, the dead zone, he made a play and a pass inside to Elias Harris a few possessions ago and steps into the gap there. That's effective. Well, you have to give BYU a lot of credit in this game in that that zone defense has been well executed. It's given the Zags problems. They've somehow kept Brandon Davies in this game through all kinds of foul trouble that started from the very first seconds of this game. And yet Gonzaga has never trailed. They have a three-point lead with 42.7 seconds to go. Gonzaga has two timeouts left. Both teams in the bonus, and the possession arrow does favor the Zags. Well, we said it's like the NBA. No boys allowed. It has been physical all night long, and at times over the line. Loose balls, sellout. Inside, challenge. Both teams in the huddle here. Mark Few with his Bulldogs. Dave Rose with the BYU Cougars. And it's clear not just the physical nature of this game, but the senior night emotions. And maybe too much emotion early on. BYU did not play well in the first minutes of this game. But they have given Gonzaga everything the Zags could have hoped for on the road. And they still have a real shot to win this game. Well, it's not about emotion now, but it starts with an E. It's about execution. And right now, Brandon Davies has been able to get himself free in the paint. You've got the luxury of Tyler Hawes, who has played well tonight. When he's on the same side as Davies, it creates space for him inside. And you figure that that's how Dave Rose would draw it up. The three-point shooting, look at the number. Gonzaga has shot 30 threes, and they've only made six of them. And they're still ahead. Three-point lead. Watch number three and zero in white. So they get Hawes and Davies together. Hawes doesn't use the screen and miss the shot. Got a great look. It goes out of bounds off of Gonzaga. And Hawes makes that shot probably eight times out of ten. Shot clock is now off. 32.6 seconds to go. Cusick is the inbounder. He'll get it into Zilstra. Zilstra runner, short, rebound, Hart 
Snatches it away. Another big play by Hart. It's Pangos in the corner. He's fouled. Now that was a great rebound by Hart because BYU was right around that basketball. And it was Hart who just would not let the offensive rebound happen. And ultimately they get Pangos, excellent free throw shooter to the line. When Michael Hart just goes up, grabs the ball, stays with it. And how about Pangos right here? He could have panicked, but he stayed strong with the basketball. Been a nightmare game for Pangos. He is one of 12 from three-point range. One of 12. And these are his first free throws of the game. One and one. Not easy here at the Marriott Center. This, you, this is not just a regular season game for a Gonzaga team that's already clinched a share of the conference regular season championship. This means a whole lot more. And these kids know everybody has lost ahead of them and behind them in two spots. Second one may be a little easier for Pangos. Two huge free throws. Five-point game, and BYU's got to hurry. It's Hawes. Tyler Hawes going to the basket. Hawes, tough shot, no good. Loose ball. Gary Bell comes away with it, and that's another foul. And Gonzaga is 12.6 seconds away from escaping Provo. And it was not a foul. They called a jump ball. It is Gonzaga basketball, so not a foul. But the arrow favors the Bulldogs. Timeout, Mark Few. He's got one left. These teams are no strangers to games coming right down to the wire. In fact, two of the most exciting moments in college basketball, one involving Gonzaga on the road. In fact, the last Zags loss couldn't inbound the ball. Otherwise, they would have had a win. And Roosevelt Jones at the buzzer at Hinkle, a signature moment this year. The Butler wins 64-63, the last time Gonzaga lost a game. And here on this floor, it looked like sort of a buzzer beating type win for BYU after Oz hit that tough shot but look at the clock 2.5 seconds to go and Matthew Delavadova from what 35 40 feet the heave at the buzzer himself to win the game for St. Mary's he knew it was down as soon as it left his hands so both of these teams have been involved in close games and both have been on the wrong end of dramatic shots we saw them both there and the Cougars at this point would love for the game to come down to a buzzer beater because they're in trouble Hart the inbounder and he'll get it into Olenek and Olenek is fouled that's a pretty nice luxury on your out of bounds play I would say throw it to your seven footer he's going to be open have your seven footer sprint 50 feet yeah. to the inbounder catch the ball and go to the free throw line with his 80% free throw shooting number. Yeah, he's as quick or quicker than anybody else. He runs like a deer. He's got great hands. He can jump. It's a pretty good option on an inbounds play. What a year for Kelly Olenek, making a very strong case 